Hello everyone, this is Mark Fisher with Furnistat. I am the AutoCAD and Civil 3D trainer, among a few other hats. Uh, what I want to show you today is a tool that is often overlooked inside the profile views. And the way we're going to make use of this particular tool is I want to add this overhead utility line to this profile. Instead of using a traditional alignment to accomplish this, I'm going to do this with a feature line instead. So I'm going to create a feature line, add it to the none site. I am going to give this one a name. I'm just going to say overhead wires or OHW for short. It's already going to go on its own layer. That's fine. I'm okay. Now it's going to ask draw or specify start point. Well, that's just going to be the point that I have located here. And where it says specify elevation, I'm just going to make sure that my elevation matches my point. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to come out here to this next point. I have this offset just a little bit so that it is easier to see. Come down here and find the next point that we have. Enter to accept that elevation. Another point here. 67, good. Frame 69, okay. And last but not least, our last node used for that point. I'm going to hit enter to finish the command. And then I'm going to click on my feature line just to double check and my information is correct. All right, I think I got everything the way I want it there. Now to add this into the profile view, it's actually pretty simple. All I have to do is click on the profile view and then up here on the ribbon, there is this option of project objects to the profile view. I'm gonna click on that guy and then it's gonna ask me select objects to add to profile view. Well, that's where I'm just going to click on that feature line. Hit enter. I'm just going to take the defaults over here. And lo and behold, you can see that the profile updated itself. And now we've added in that overhead utility line. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.